Let's get ready for fall. And what better way to usher in this time of year but to create a tabletop mosaic. This one is double-sided, so I made one side a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween and the other side a pumpkin for Thanksgiving. All substrates, materials, tools, adhesives, and grout will be listed down below in the description in case you'd like to create a tabletop mosaic of your own. You can find this information if you click show more underneath the video description, if you're on your computer, and if you're on your tablet or phone, you can do this by clicking the down arrow to the right of the video title. You can watch the full tutorial here on my channel and I'll include a link down below in the description so you can check it out. But let's jump right in and cover the basics of this mosaic project. To start, you need to pick a substrate and it needs to be flat on both sides as well as thick enough that it can stand up on your table or shelf. I used an unfinished wood pumpkin shape that fit all of the criteria. It has a cutout jack-o'-lantern face, which I'll use as a guide. However, I'll be covering it with glass and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Before you begin tiling, you need to seal your wood substrate. And I'll include a video link down below in the description that will show you how to do this. Next, you need to decide on your tesserae. I used stained glass, vitreous glass, smalty, and glass tile on both sides of the substrate. I made sure to include a mix of light, medium, and dark oranges to create depth and interest for my mosaic. I even included a few iridescent tesserae to add some shimmer to the piece. Once you've decided on your tesserae, you need to cut it down. I used a glass cutter and wheel glass snippers to get everything to the perfect size before I began tiling. And then once I started tiling, I made some minor adjustments to the tesserae along the way. I'll include video links down below in the description for any of the tesserae, tools, adhesives, and grout that I'm using in today's video. Next, you want to decide on an adhesive. I use Thinset Mortar, which is a cement-based adhesive. You can also use adhesives such as a white PVA glue, like Weld Bond, or a silicone such as Lexel. You can also use something called Tile Adhesive or Mastic. And you can even use Epoxy Sculpt. To get started with tiling, I filled in the holes of the jack-o'-lantern face and started tiling on the pumpkin side. My design is vertical lines of tesserae, alternating colors and trying not to put two of the same color next to each other. Once I was done tiling this side, I flipped over the substrate and used the existing cutouts of the jack-o'-lantern face to cut the black stained glass, and I adhered those tesserae. Then I got to work tiling the rest of the substrate using random shaped tesserae in the same mix of oranges that I used on the pumpkin side. And I cut these random shapes down using wheeled glass nippers. Once that tiling was done, I got to work on the stem of each side. And for the stems, I used green vitreous glass. Once the mosaic had been sitting and drying for at least 24 hours, it was ready to be grouted. And for this, I used charcoal gray sanded grout. Since the tile work was flat on both sides, the grouting went very quickly. And once the grout had cured, I finished off the mosaic by painting the exposed wood a matching charcoal gray color as well. And I did this with acrylic craft paint. All substrates, materials, tools, adhesives, and grout will be listed down below in the description in case you'd like to create a double-sided jack-o'-lantern pumpkin of your own. I'll also include down below in the description a link to the full tutorial of this project. If you're interested in more Halloween and fall mosaic projects, you can click or tap the screen right here to get started. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.